Hello, welcome to this video on security insights. This time around, I'm going to talk about how Landsweeper helps you with your security, your network security, and your asset security itself. Um, obviously, Landsweeper has been helping sysadmins with their security for quite some time. Uh, we usually say, you know, you cannot protect what you don't know exists, and that's where Landsweeper comes in and gives you that baseline, that information that you need, data that you need to protect your network. Now, in the past, we've mainly done that just by providing you with that data. So you know which assets you have, what software is running on them, um, what kind of configuration are they running, and all the details that we provide, all the hardware, software configuration, user details that we provide. But on top of that, we're now adding additional layers to help you secure a network even better. Now, obviously, you might have seen that Landsuper provides a lot of security reports. And that's something that we'll touch on as well, and something we're going to show inside the product too. Um, additionally, on top of that, we also have dashboards, widgets, um, all related to security just to help you get that visibility of it. And then we have the brand new security insights itself that connect the Landsweeper data with NIST vulnerability data to give you that kind of ultimate view of which of my assets are vulnerable to what. So let's head into Landsweeper and take a look. So here in Landsweeper, we're on our general default overview dashboard where um, by default, you'll see that we have here the report overview with vulnerability audits. This will be automatically populated with the latest uh, security vulnerability related uh, reports that we that we publish so these will be automatically added to your site so all you need to do really is check back every so often and you'll see new reports popping in here that you can run immediately from here um, and that way you kind of have a, at least a number where you know okay you know I have that many assets that might be vulnerable to this new vulnerability uh, on top of that every month we bring out our patch Tuesday report that gives you an overview of all of the assets that do not have the latest uh, Microsoft patches that's right below that. Again, something that we update every single month. So just, you know, you just need to make sure that after Patch Tuesday, you check back and you can get that overview to know which of your Windows machines are out of date. Now, aside from those, if you just want to go back in time, maybe a bit uh, related to the vulnerability reports, um, you can head over to the reports section where we have a whole category on security. Um, and that goes into things like antivirus, vulnerabilities, you know, patch Tuesday that I mentioned. Also lifecycle, lifecycle is something that we'll see in a different video. So you should head over to that one if you wanna learn more about lifecycle. Um, this time I'm gonna go into vulnerabilities where you'll see we have, you know, quite a decent library here of vulnerability related reports. Um, going all the way from more or less the basic uh, browser updates that just show you whether you've outdated browsers or the actual kind of longer term, bigger vulnerabilities like where it'd be like, you know, the Nimbus Pwn vulnerability from, from last year um, or additional vulnerabilities that you can see around here as well. Now, the new part to Landsweeper that kind of really amps up the security and how you can use Landsweeper for security is the Security Insights tab. So here in the security insights, you have a complete list of all the vulnerabilities, as I mentioned. Um, some special things here. So obviously on the top right hand corner, there's a search box that you can use if you're looking for a specific vulnerability. Um, you can also customize this view. So if you want to change around some of the columns, uh, you can. Um, I'm not going to go into that detail right now. You can ignore vulnerabilities if you choose that one of these is not really important to you um, or you just want to remove it from the list and you can ignore them. Um, and aside from that, all we have left to do now is take a look at one of them. So we're going to take a look at this one here where as you can see, so this one was um, a Firefox vulnerability. Um, I can tell quite easily by looking at the source. This comes from the Mozilla Corporation. We obviously get the kind of basic details of this vulnerability a description. We get the CVSS score that's shown there. We get a lot of references here. So this is uh, always quite useful. If you want to take a look at all of the details, you can follow these links to get uh, to go to like the official advisory, for example, things like that. And then the thing that we want to know, obviously, is which assets are affected by this vulnerability. And then you get a list here so that you see which assets you still need to update. Um, let's take a look at one of these. So head over to that asset page 
um, where if we go to software, you can see here Firefox is still on version 90, which is you know, quite from some quite, uh, quite some time ago. Um, so not surprising that it's uh, listing here that it's vulnerable to some vulnerabilities. Also on the actual asset page, you can see here we have the security insights as well. So if you just want to see on an asset per asset basis, which vulnerabilities are on that specific device, you can do that as well. So here you can see, I think we have a total of 162 results on this asset, which is quite a lot. But if I look here at the source, I can see that most of this looks like it's pretty much all Mozilla Corporation. So since the Firefox version is quite out of date, um, the majority of these will actually just be Firefox related vulnerabilities. Um, so I would say it's, uh, it's about time that we update this Firefox here. Um, to make sure we mitigate most of these vulnerabilities on this machine itself. Heading back to the dashboard, the last thing I wanted to show off here is we do have also a security specific dashboard, which gives you some more widgets on uh, antivirus related information. Obviously, again, the security uh, and vulnerability audits that we have, but also things like, you know, BitLocker encryption, uh, automatic updates uh, settings, uh, you know, uptime, things like that. A lot of information there. Uh, some of these reports haven't run yet. That's why they're still empty. Um, but there's a lot of information there that you can actually get to at least you know, take a better look, have a better overview of your assets, and also their security status, their configuration status, and you know, ensuring that they're all kind of in line of your own security policies. Um, with that, you know, I think I've shown up all the tools that we have currently that you can use to better manage your environment. And you know, on top of that, use the LandSuper included security tools to ensure that your environment, your network is adequately protected against any threats. So with that, thank you for watching and you can learn more in the next video.